Hey everybody, Michael Crump here yet again, bringing you all the latest and greatest PlayStation 4 hacking news at the moment. Today, I just saw the very latest PS4 Linux payload for 9.00 dropped. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we can utilize this payload and install Arch Linux onto our PlayStation 4's USB hard disk drive. Let's go. Okay, so here is the site that was just updated. In this instance, it says yesterday, but you can go over to the PS4 Linux payloads and you'll note that there is one in here now that is for 9.00. Now, to make things a little bit easier, what I decided to do was I decided to come over here and create a GitHub for all of the files that you're going to need just for the Linux version. I want to try to keep things simple. Click on where it says code and then download zip. It shouldn't take but just a moment and then you'll have all of the files that you're going to need in order to install Linux. Okay, so wherever you downloaded it, just go ahead and do a right click and extract the files and then go into that folder and you should see all of the files located here. Now, one file that you may see that is missing is that big two gigabyte image file. So if you want to, just to stay nice and organized, you can go over to your downloads folder and you can copy that file and you can paste it in the working folder that we're in right now. Okay, so we're gonna need to copy three files over to our USB drive in just a moment. Those files are PSX IT Arch, this init RAM FS, and then BZ image. And insert your USB thumb drive, and you're just gonna simply copy them to the root. Now, one thing to keep in mind is, is that with that USB thumb drive, make sure it is formatted in FAT32. Okay, so we're gonna go into payload sender, and we're just going to run the executable there, which is PS4 payload injector. The first thing you're going to need to do is to type in your IP address of your PlayStation 4. And for the port, we're just going to use 9090. That is the port if you are using the very latest Goldian on 9.00 that it is waiting for is port 9090. And you can go ahead, change the language to English if you want that to be, and then hit connect and it does show that it is connected. Okay, so you'll see a ton of different files when we come in here from the Linux loader part from 9.00 to a Mira loader. What you're going to need to do first, and it is crucial to make this to work, is you're going to need to send over the payload that is listed here, which is the Mira loader. Once you do that, make sure you hit OK, and then you can send the payload. Okay, so it says that that payload has been sent. Okay, and back over on our PS4, again, just double check and make sure you've got these first two ticks enabled, but we should be able to see that there was a payload that has been sent to us. So we see that we've got a payload received. And then finally, it does say waiting for clients. Waiting for clients is very important to see. If you just see the first one and not waiting for clients, then there could be something wrong. And we can switch out that payload now back over to our Linux loader 900.bin. Go ahead and click on the send payload and we get an error. Uh, again, I'm leaving these in there just so you can see how to fix the different types of errors. So it's okay. What we can do here is, is that we can either try things such as clicking on the connect button again, or closing and restarting the applications. In this instance, I didn't have to do very much. I believe I went and I hit the connect button again, and then went back and sent the payload, and it worked this time. Okay, we have a payload received. Okay, so the screen just went black, but it will come back in. And at this point, it is installing Arch Linux to your USB hard drive. It is not installing this to your PlayStation 4. So that's just a really good thing to keep in mind. 
Okay, and so I didn't get to capture myself typing in this command, which is exec install dash psx it arch dot sh. But this is the command that you're going to need to install. And at this point, it does say that Arch Linux has been installed with some success. The only thing that you'll need to type in here to keep things moving is type in the word resume dash boot. After you do that, you should be able to get your graphical user interface of Arch. And by the way, I am using a USB keyboard and mouse connected to my PlayStation 4. So that's how I've been able to input these commands. Okay, so this is really amazing. Just think of it for a moment. We have our PlayStation 4, which is a machine for running games that is now running a Linux-based operating system perfectly fine. And the good news with this is, is that this installation of Arch Linux is not on the actual PlayStation 4's built-in system hard drive. So in other words, you'd be able to keep this version of Arch Linux in its state, however you customize it, and boot right back into it anytime you needed a Linux environment. So anyway, that's pretty awesome. Let's just go ahead and make a few changes here. The first thing that I want to change is I want to change that background. So right now it's kind of got this blue I want to go to desktop preferences here. And I think I want to change it to one of the purple colors. So let's go to where it says wallpaper. And there it is. I think that's the one. Uh, let's see what else we got. No, 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 no. Okay, let's go back to the purple one. And let's just go ahead and close out of that. Let's go into the configuration. And this is just some instructions on how they lay out their terminal. So again, you can customize this to your liking. And up here on Wi-Fi, so I can go to my local Wi-Fi and I can type in my password here and it will connect. So again, this is amazing because you have to have drivers for the Wi-Fi and we're doing that through Linux on a PS4. On the web browser, I'm going to type in my name. So I'm going to go to search and then MB Crump. And there we go. Okay, he looks like a really swell guy. So we'll give his channel a look and we'll go ahead and hit the subscribe button. All right, let's go ahead and close out of this browser. And we're going to go back to the home menu here. And here is where it says return to Orbis OS. So once you do this, you're completely out of Arch Linux and your system is rebooted. Go ahead and we are no longer jailbroken. So just go back through that process again. Go back to our devices and now on USB storage that the use space now has increased and that's because we've installed Arch Linux to our USB drive. Well, that is it for now. I really hope that this helped. Thanks for watching my videos. This PlayStation 4 news has definitely helped my channel grow. I have all kinds of other stuff on there. I have Xbox modding. I have Nintendo Switch stuff on there. A bunch of PlayStation 2 stuff, PlayStation 3 stuff. Go check it out. Are you still waiting here?